let's explore our FIDE OS which is a Chromium based OS first. Then we are going to enable Linux on it. By the way, I am running this operating system completely from my thumb drive. And if you were wondering how I've installed that on a thumb drive, you can go to youtube.com slash add the date DIY hyphen try. This is my another channel. And this is the video where I have explained how you can do this. Now let's explore our newly installed Chromium OS little bit. At the right bottom corner, we have the notification panel. We can connect to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, manage our brightness, system sound, many things like that. We can do the shutdown, restart, anything like that from notification panel itself. We can go to settings. At the taskbar area, we have few icons. One is Chromium. Another one is our file browser. And at the bottom left corner, we have the application menu and some pre-installed applications are there. Without wasting any more time, let's go to settings from here. And from settings, let's go to advanced and we have to click on developers. And here you'll see one option is there Linux development environment and we are going to turn it on. Click on turn on, click next, any username, whatever you prefer and whatever disk size you want on your Linux environment, 10 GB is fine. Let's go with that now and click install. It is going to take some time. Once it is installed, we will be installing one Linux application. And now we have enabled the Linux from developer options. That took around nearly five to seven minutes. As soon as the Linux is enabled, you will get this terminal prompt where we can type in our Debian based Linux commands. So we have selected 10 GB. So if I check only 19% has been used and the size is 10 GB, we can run standard Linux commands. Let me do one thing. Let me go to Chromium and download one Linux based application. So let's go to Google. Let me search for VS code. So I'm going with the first link. As soon as I go there, I get the Windows, Linux and Mac flavor. So I'll be clicking on this Deb or Debian base because this Linux is basically Debian base. So let's click on that. It is now downloading my package as you see. Let's wait for that to be completed. Now my download is completed. So let's click on show in folder. What I can simply do, I can simply double click on this file. It is showing I have to install that with Linux. That's fine. Click on install. We see the installation progress at the notification panel. It will take a couple of minutes. Almost finished. And we see installation is complete. That's great. Let's go to the application menu and we see it has been registered. We can launch it from the individual icon or we can go in the Linux apps and simply click on Visual Studio. Now the Visual Studio is loading and here we go. We can customize our Visual Studio. So that's fine. I can close this. You can basically install any Linux app which is Debian or Ubuntu based. Next time onwards, if you want to launch your terminal, go to application, search for terminal and click on that. Then you will get this Linux prompt over here. You can go with the Penguin one which is the default installed on FIDE OS or Chrome OS. Or you can also connect to other Linux machines. You have to just add the SSH. So let's click on this manage. You can do all the settings if you want. And if you want to launch this local SSH, just click on penguin. And you can type in any standard Linux command like apt update or anything like that. That's all for this video. See you in some next amazing videos.